two errors here, and one of them isn't part of the question. I'm going to stick with my gut and say no error. No error. YouTube English lessons, I guess they're called, where I go through university questions uh, for Japan and just try and answer them. Where I, myself, an English language teacher, well, not anymore, as、uh, I finished my contract on Friday and I go back to university in three weeks. But a qualified English teacher goes through some university entrance exams and just answers the questions for you guys. So this week we are doing Waseda Sociology Department. Let's begin. There are ten questions, and all we have to do is find the error. So, question number one: During periods of prolonged heat and rain, the body loses energy, and as a result, we became more susceptible to illness. Okay, so the error here, to me, very obvious, is C. Became. First half is in present continuous tense,、um, or present tense. And became is past tense, so it should be become. Okay, question number two. The Highlands of Scotland have been a source of wonder and mystery for hundreds years, and are reported to be home to ghosts and spirits that continue to live through. Okay. <laughs> Now there's actually two errors here, and one of them isn't part of the question. So it says the Highlands of Scotland have been a source of wonder and mystery for hundreds years, or hundreds of years. There's a word missing in between. It should be hundreds of years, but that's not in the question. That's not one of the error options. So that's just a mistake with the the question itself.、Um, but the actual error here is D. And home to ghosts and spirits that continue to live through. If you're going to say live through, you need to say what. So, for example, my grandfather lived through the Second World War, right? But these ghosts don't live through anything. You could say they continue to live through time, and that means you know they carry on living through hundreds of years, or just continue to live, <laughs> or continue to stay.、Um, The the phrase "live through" is just a bit strange. Doesn't make sense. So yes, the answer is D. Question number three. In term of function, eyeglass frames have little purpose other than decoration, and it does not matter what kind of decorative frames we choose to wear in order to see better. So the error in this one is A.、Um, very small error. Very very small error. You're missing an S on the end of term. In terms of function. Um, I don't. I can't really think why that might be, but yeah, very very small error, not a massive problem. Question number four. A knowledge of mathematics is of great importance to understanding economics.、Um, okay, important is the error. See,、uh, important is an adjective.、Uh, you need the noun version here, which is importance. Question number five. Writing to be effective must closely follow the thoughts and intentions of the author, but not necessarily in the order in which these thoughts occur. Writing to be effective must closely follow the thoughts and intentions of the author, but not necessarily in the order in which these thoughts occur. The order in which, the order of which, not necessarily in the order of which these thoughts. Okay, that took me a few run-throughs in my head、um, to get. But the error here is C. They've used the wrong preposition.、Um, you need to say in the order of which these thoughts occur.、Um, it's just the collocation, which usually goes with of. Okay. Number six. Some sociologists maintain that pressure to conform to group norms make individuals in the group behave similarly. I think there's no error here. I don't think there's an error in question number six. Maybe the word "maintain" is incorrect. Because、um, "maintain" 
if you maintain something, you you keep it going. Um, if you maintain a hobby, you don't give up your hobby. You do it for years and years. Uh, and but I think it has a different meaning in this sentence. I think it it means like think. Some sociologists think that pressure to conform, uh, or they could say, they could be saying maintain thinking that pressure to conform. Like they continue to think that this is a thing. Um, I, I'm going to stick with my gut and say no error. No error in question number six. Question number seven. 60 days was quite a short time for them to develop a device as complicated than that in those days. Um, okay, question, uh, answer C is the error. It should be develop a device as complicated as that in those days. Um, again, just the preposition that we use with the word complicated. When comparing two things, we always use as. You would say um, as difficult as that, as complicated as that. Um, yeah, good. Question number eight. Statistics in this report shows that our products are better accepted than our competitors' products in quality, but not in price. Statistics, ah, uh, A, A is the error. So you have plural statistics in this report. So you don't need the S on the end of shows. Statistics in this report show that our products are better accepted. Um, so yeah, you don't need the S for show. Question number nine. In order to meet the growing demand in the Southeast Asian market, our company has increased its production capacity by an average of 20% every year. In order to meet the growing demand in the Southeast Asian, Asian market, our company has increased its production capacity by an average of 20% every year. Okay, um, no error in question number nine. I'm fairly confident there's no error there. And finally, question number 10. In reaching their conclusions, committee members investigated each evidence very carefully. Uh, evidence is, uh, the, the wrong one is D. Evidence is an uncountable noun, so you can't say each evidence. You could say each person, each piece of evidence, but evidence is uncountable, so you can't say each evidence. So D is the incorrect answer there. And I think that is everything. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, it is currently 10 p.m. at night, and I am waking up at 3 a.m. to get on a plane to Malta. So maybe you'll see some images or pictures of me in Malta. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.